you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try the question before moving on. We're going to first consider when the object is immersed in the alcohol. In that situation, there would be two forces acting on the object. There would be the downward force of gravity, and then there would be an upward buoyant force. The question states that the downward force of gravity is 300 newtons, so we know already that that's 300 newtons. What's trickier to find is the buoyant force, but we're going to see it turns out that the buoyant force is going to equal 100 newtons, basically the difference between the weight in air and the weight when it's in the alcohol. Now, how do we know that? Well, to understand that, consider what the sum of these two forces would be. We would have the positive upward 100 newton force, and we would have the negatively directed 300 newton force. Negative because it's acting downward. Now, when we subtract those two forces, we get negative 200 newtons. So overall, the object still has a force acting down whose magnitude is 200 newtons. That would be the apparent weight of the object when it is immersed in the alcohol. So to summarize, in air the object is weighing 300 newtons, but when you immerse it in alcohol it appears as though it only weighs 200 newtons because there's this upward acting 100 newton force called the buoyant force that's basically deducting 100 newtons from the 300 to give us 200. So the buoyant force must be 100 newtons total. The reason that is helpful is because the buoyant force is equal to the following. We have the product of the density of the fluid, in this case the fluid is alcohol, times the volume of the object times the gravitational constant. Now we already know the buoyancy force, the density of the fluid, and g, so we can easily solve for the volume of this object. Let's go ahead and plug in our known values. One thing that deserves some explanation is where we get the density of the fluid from. They didn't give it to us directly, they told us the specific gravity is 0.7. Well, specific gravity is equal to the following. The ratio of the density of the fluid to the density of water. The density of water is known to be 1000 kilograms per meter cubed. So basically, we plug the given value for the specific gravity in for here, and then when we solve for the density of fluid, we should get 700 kilograms per meter cubed. So that's where the density of the fluid is coming from. Now finishing up this calculation, we can see the volume of the object is 0 0.0146 meters cubed. So part A is solved. Now in part B of the question, we want the density of the material. We know that density is equal to the mass divided by the volume. Well, we just figured out the volume, so that's taken care of. All we need to do is find the mass of the object. And for that, we're going to use the weight in air of 300 newtons. Because recall that weight is equal to mass times gravity. And so all we need to do is plug in the 300 newtons in air and the gravitational constant of 9.8, and we can see that the mass is 30.61 kilograms. So now we have the mass, we previously calculated the volume, the density will be very easy to calculate now by dividing the mass by the volume, and that gives us a density of 2100 kilograms per meter cubed.